Gilbert. I'm one of the assistant principals at Signal Mountain Middle High School. I've been in education 32 years. Um, I started out as a teacher and coach for 28 years and the last four I've been in administration. When I first got into education and started coaching, one of my biggest fears was when kids were injured. Um, as a coach, sometimes kids have to play through pain and you know this, but there's a lot of difference in when they're injured and when they've just got some pain. As a coach, you don't know when this situation is. I mean, I'm not trained in that. I didn't go to school for that. So a lot of times I was possibly playing kids when they were actually injured, and I thought they just had to play through pain. Sometimes we were setting out kids who just had some pain and, and needed to play through it, and we didn't know. About uh, in the early 90s, late 80s, we started seeing trainers uh, start to show up on the, on the coaching industry, and it was a godsend um, to not have to worry about when my athlete was hurt and have a trainer that I could turn it over to was both a relief for me and the parents. The, the, the parents knew that you know I had the kids' best interest at heart, but decisions were hard to make sometimes when you're not educated. Uh, being able to just relax with it with a trainer was, was huge. One thing Center for Sports Medicine did was they started providing schools with trainers, and this was a huge thing. We developed a relationship with the trainer. We had confidence in him or her, and it was just a, just a great uh, tool for us. As coaches now, we can focus on what we do best and turn over the injuries to the professionals. Center for Sports Medicine has been amazing in, in the schools I've been in. Uh, they've been a part of three of the four schools that I've, that, I've, that I've been a part of. And the relationship we have with them is just always extremely positive and, and, and a plus for us. Now, I've developed a relationship with Bob Neville, who is a trainer who is over all the other trainers there at uh, Center for Sports Medicine and, and, and Bob to me is a genius and does a great job of preparing the young trainers uh, to, to move up into the profession. Uh, through the years there were a couple of severe injuries that we had. Um, I saw a young man's knee get dislocated. I saw another young man's elbow get dislocated and I saw a, a compound fracture where, where an arm was broken twice. All of these times we were fortunate enough to have a trainer there. And what a relief it was for both me and the parents to have somebody out there that really understood, you know, whether they needed to be moved, not moved, stabilizing it, talking to the ambulance people when they came. It was a huge relief to have our trainers there. And, you know, the one thing that I've always appreciated about Ch uh, Center for Sports Medicine is the fact that they don't charge us for the trainer. The trainer is assigned to the school, and the Center for Sports Medicine is, is paying that salary. And, and we feel like we have our own personal trainer, so it, it's just a huge thing for our school, and, and we're just tickled to death to have them be a part of us. In 1992, I started developing some of my own problems. I had a, a severely ruptured disc. I didn't know it at the time, but um, really had a problem. I was going to sports medicine at the time for my knee uh, being a little bit of a problem, but we quickly changed over to my neck. Um, turned out I had a severely ruptured disc and had surgery, and the surgery went extremely well. And again, I, I give the sports medicine people the credit for that. Um, I was supposed to wear a neck brace for three months. I wore it for about a month and a half. I, I'm an old wrestler. Uh, I was wrestling on it uh, within two months. Probably wasn't a good idea, but I feel that's how good the surgery was and how good the doctors were that I was able to bounce back extremely quick. Some people said I would never wrestle again. Uh, I turned 56 last week, and this was the first year I hadn't wrestled during wrestling season. So even at 55, I was still rolling around. And again, I give a lot of the credit to, to the doctors and trainers there at Center for Sports Medicine. Mm -hmm.